Welcome to this video. I'm going to talk about two important factors when you're trading on the financial markets. The first is the role of macroeconomics on an asset's trend. You have an asset here, where you can see straight away that there is a very significant increase, which sort of seems to have appeared from nowhere. The reason for this trend, for this dynamism, is that there was some economic news which caused a significant reaction in the markets. In other words, the development of a financial asset will be affected by external factors. This is why you must be cautious. Together, we will look at how to track macroeconomic factors. First of all, you can track the economic calendar, which organizes the publication of economic news, such as the unemployment rate and growth of the economy, which significantly affect forex currencies, as well as all other financial markets. You can track the economic calendar on sites such as Forex Factory, which is an English site, or Investing.com, which is a French site. Secondly, you must be aware of economic and political news which can affect the markets. For example, the bankruptcy of a company, a major political event, the outbreak of war, or even a totally unforeseen event. The news can generate significant movements. In this case, it is important to understand what's happening and understand if this is good or bad news for the coming trading days. How specifically can you adapt your trading to macroeconomics? Firstly, avoid trading during significant economic events if you are a beginner. It is vital that when you establish the timing of an economic event, you do not launch ARIA. Leave ARIA alone. What I would recommend is to only look at important economic news. I would also recommend that you focus on the main currencies, such as the euro, US dollar, pound, and yen, in order to trade with a clearer calendar, based on the assets you are going to trade. Once you master ARIA, you can profit from the trends generated by the economic news by positioning yourself intelligently and optimally. You must be very reactive in order to capture good gains following economic events. This is why we recommend that you play, in inverted commas, with the economic news when you are a bit more experienced. The second important aspect I wanted to talk about in this video is the timing for trading. You must trade at specific times of the day to profit from the best opportunities for gains generated in the table. The table below shows the opening of the main stock exchanges throughout the world. You can see that Asian stock exchanges open early in the night in Europe. Then we have the European stock exchanges where there is a gap, for example, the London Stock Exchange, and so on, which represents 35% of Forex volumes. Finally, there are the American Stock Exchanges, which open at 2 p.m. The timings also depend on winter time and summer time, but this is the table and the timings you should use and familiarize yourself with for optimal trading. What is the best time for trading? This is an important question. You must trade when the stock exchanges are open and ideally when at least two time zones are overlapping with one another. For example, if you live in France, the best slot is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. In the morning, you have the European stock exchanges and the London stock exchange, and in the afternoon, from 2 p.m., you have the New York stock exchange, which also represents significant volumes. Remember to be aware of macroeconomics. Think about adjusting your trading according to economic news, looking at the economic calendar. Secondly, be aware of timing. Do not trade at night if the volumes are greater during the day.